from Joe K Models here. All right, so welcome back. Now we get to the fun process of weathering the aircraft. And, you know, last time I, I painted everything, but previous to that, um, you know, I had painted everything the bare metal silver and then, um, you know, protected it with a, with a clear coat. And then I actually put some hairspray over the, the airplane. Um, just went over it with, with regular hairspray and then I put the top colors on. So now what I'm looking to do is to get some water, which I have right here, and then um, basically dampen various areas, well, pretty much all of the areas that I'm gonna be weathering. Um, and then once those areas are, are dampened, what happens is the hairspray activates, and then you can, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but um, you can take different tools, different instruments, and then start the, the weathering process. Um, you know, with a scale that is small like this, I don't want dramatic chips to be coming off of the paint. I want it to be more subtle, um, you know, because if you have a big chip that's kind of jarring to, to look at um, and it might appear out of scale. Uh, so the first thing that I did was I looked up some different photos of what I could with, the, with this airplane um, just to get an idea of what the weathering looked like. Um, it's kind of hard to see a lot of pictures on it. Um, a lot of them are in black and white and are kind of far away, so it's kind of hard to see the chipping. But I did find a few that I was able to reference and, and get an idea, and I'll kind of show those as, as I'm talking. Um, but I also like looked up some different, um, you know, video games where it has the plane um, flying around, and you know, I'm sure the people that modeled that also, um, you know, try to do realistic type weathering so I use those as, as reference as well um, and then you know I really kind of want it to mirror the fact that you know this was you know used to basically um, transport different things and also you know for paratroopers um, so there's some pictures of paratroopers getting on the airplane you can see that there's like some you know weathering from you know the troopers like getting onto the plane and stuff like that. And that's not something I'm gonna do at this point. That might be more of a final touch to add maybe some dusting or different things like that. But I think it's important to reference different materials so that you have an idea of uh, what you're going for. So I actually started a little bit of the process um, on the wing here. You can see like I dampened it and I just started uh, taking away, um, you know, very subtly different um, parts of the of the paint to get to that bare metal silver and um, pretty much wetting it with um, you know dipping my um, brush in here getting it damp giving it a few minutes not getting impatient because um, if you get impatient and you really start to get aggressive with it you can you know possibly go underneath the bare metal silver which I don't want so um, you know this is a very patient process that you need to do so dampen it kind of give it a minute to, to settle in and then um, you know for this scale, I'm, I'm pretty much using like a toothpick, a sharpened toothpick, um, along with a, an old airbrush needle, and I'm just being very subtle, very careful. Um, the, tr the trick with this, I feel, is to not overdo it at first. Now, you can subtly do it, and then you can always leave the door open to go back later and to add to it. So, my thing is to try and go over the plane very lightly with this weathering um, and just try and make it you know uniform as far as not doing too much weathering here not enough over there just doing a light weathering over the whole thing and then being additive after that so going after then just kind of looking at it looking at your reference pictures and being like okay I want to add a little bit more here where people might have been walking or I notice more chipping on the engines and you can go in and kind of fine-tune that but if you over weather it then it's going to be a lot harder to well, it'd be impossible to go back and apply more paint. You'd have to redo the whole thing pretty much, but much easier to, to go slow, um, take your time with this process, and then and then add to it. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, again, just wetting it with the uh, water. I have some hairspray underneath that's going to activate it, and then just going over it very uh, subtly and um, getting the effects that I want. So, all right, I'll be right back.
Okay, and I finished my preliminary weathering of the uh, the top of the airplane. I still have to do the uh, underside, but um, I've basically gone over it and just gone over it uh, as far as like making sure I have coverage as far as the weathering goes on all sides of the top here. And this is going to be my opportunity to go ahead and um, really check my references, check my photos, um, look to see if I'm happy with the way that it compares to those and also a chance for me to add some little touches um, you know to the plane now that I'm at this point so if I notice for example in one of the photos like there's a big chip missing on the tip of the the wing or something like that maybe I'll try and replicate that um, another example is you know on the right side of the plane and I started to do a little bit of it a little bit of extra weathering here but this is where people would have been getting on some of the paratroopers or um, you know other people getting onto the airplane this is going to be more weathered than say the left side so that's my chance to take a look and, and to, to add those final um, final little touches and you know just basically do an examination of of everything as a whole decide if I'm happy with it and then once I am happy with it, I'm going to go over it with a clear coat to seal in my work and then it will be moving on to the to the decal. So um, overall, the process went um, pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't have any complaints. The uh, hairspray worked out um, very well, you know, um, as far as doing the bare metal silver, doing the hairspray technique. And I was able to get most of it done, honestly, with just this tooth with uh, toothbrush, with this uh, actual uh, paintbrush here. I actually cut the uh, bristles. This is an older paintbrush, but I uh, cut the bristles down so this would give me a little bit more, um, I guess, firmness in the in the bristles to kind of aggravate those areas where there's, you know, indentations and really start to get in there. So I did make that, but I was able to do most of what I needed to do with this paintbrush. Um, so now that I'm going to be doing some some other things after that I might be using my old airbrush needle a little bit more or my toothpick to really you know pick out a couple of different areas that I might want to embellish on so with that being said once I get you know it clear coat and everything I'll be ready to go ahead and um, apply the decals um, so uh, ahead of that I'm going to stop for this vlog and that will be on the next one but appreciate you checking in and I'm going to see you real soon. This is Joe from Joe K Models.